welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new set, Trick or Treat. I love this because the minis, they're so much fun, and it's perfect for Halloween, especially if you didn't want to get a full-size Halloween set, this is the perfect one to get, and it's great for cards and treat bags and all sorts of things, so let's go ahead and stamp it out. So one of my favorite things about this mini set is this large sentiment. I think it's great especially for things like treat bags and stuff like that because it can become the main element of whatever you're doing to decorate, which is awesome. And then the other elements in this set can kind of decorate around that awesome large sentiment. So I just love this bat. And you can see if you stamp them a few times, what a cute and fun little pattern you get. And then we have two smiling candy corn that I think are just adorable. I mean, it's the quintessential Halloween treat. So I love that you can create a fun pattern with them, or you can put together the large one and the small one and kind of create, you know, their fun little buddies, so trick-or-treat buddies, <laughs> which I love. And they kind of look at each other, so you can see there, you can kind of make them hang out. And this one's great for combining them to create a pattern. You can kind of mix and match the sizes. And we'll do that in a little bit when we create a fun treat bag. I'm gonna add some quick and easy color to the bat. So just to make them a little bit cuter, I'm adding some little blush marks with a light pink marker. And I just think it looks too cute. Then we are gonna color our fun little candy corn. So I thought it would be fun to make a treat bag with this set. So I'm going to take a little bag like this. You can use any bag you can find at your local craft store, even your grocery store, any kind of cute little bag, even a lunch sack could work for this idea. I'm just gonna cut off the little hang tab part. This is a way to reuse packaging too. Okay, so I have that part cut off. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with some candy corn and any candy would work. I'm just going to move the candy corn around in the package so it looks nice, kind of so it lays a little more flat. I'm going to peel off the strip and seal it down. Another way to seal a bag like this, uh, if you didn't have the sticky tab, would be to use some washi tape if you were using a paper bag or something like that. The next step I'm going to do is create a cute little band for this treat bag. So I'm just gonna use, I have some extra twine from another project, I'm just gonna use that to measure around the bag. It's an easy way to see how what the circumference is. And it's about seven inches. So to be safe, I'm gonna cut it about eight inches, that way I know it'll go all the way around. And I'm gonna cut it one inch wide. So I've got the maple paper from the Into the Woods collection, the B-side here that is great for Halloween. And I'm going to cut it about an inch and a quarter wide. And then we're gonna make it eight inches long, just like the white piece. Now my next step is to take these cute little candy corn. And I'm gonna put them on my block, like this. And we're gonna create our own pattern paper with these cute smiley candy corn. So as I'm stamping here, I'm going to make sure to stamp the candy corn both on the paper like this and also off of the edge too. And the reason for that is that's going to give it a really continuous look. It's really going to look like pattern paper that way. And once I've stamped them all, it's kind of fun to go back and see, oh, there's a little blank space there. So I'm just going to add a little top of a candy corn and just kind of fill that pattern in wherever you see blank spots. So right there, it's looking pretty good. So now it's time to add some color to our fun little candy corn pattern paper. And so I decided to just look at the actual candy corn and pick two colors that look pretty similar to the candy corn. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the color. We have Y19 for the yellow. And now we can add our orange, YR68. So it's looking really cute. So I wanna create a cute little circle to highlight this awesome trick or treat sentiment. So I've got my circle stackables here and I'm thinking this one is gonna be a pretty good size for it. And then I need to get the coordinating scallop circle 
here. So I know these two will go really well together. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment out and I'm going to use a piece of washi tape to help me center it. And I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. Super cute. And then I'm going to run my scallop circle through onto black cardstock. So now we can layer these together. So you can see how cute this is starting to look. And then I just want to stamp out two more candy corn for some extra decoration. I'll add some quick color and then we'll cut them out. And now we can start to assemble everything. And I'm going to use some foam adhesive on the other candy corn here. And I'm going to use this super sticky red line tape. That way I know it's going to hold on that kind of bumpy package. I'm also going to put one piece in the middle just to really secure it. And when you adhere it, you want to make sure that seam is in the middle so we can cover it up. And I almost messed that up, but I was able to undo the adhesive and just stick it back together. And then we'll cover up that seam and that way the back side's going to look really cute too. Another piece of super sticky tape. And now I can adhere my cute little panel in the middle. Absolutely adorable. And you could definitely mass produce these by creating the candy corn pattern on one big sheet of paper and then cutting them into separate strips. That would work really well. Um, also, you could use some of the pattern papers for this strip that already exist from the Into the Woods collection and that would look really cute too. Even just the orange stripe would look adorable. So that is Trick or Treat. It is a super fun mini stamp that's perfect for Halloween cards and treats and tags and things like that. I love the smiling bats and smiling candy corn and the large scale sentiment is perfect for things like creating little treat bags like this. So much fun and really easy to reproduce. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing and super sweet like candy corn day. Bye. Oh,